All right, guys, welcome to the channel. We got a new addition to the uh, garage here. This is a uh, new trailer that we got. This isn't new. It's about a year old. I uh, just picked it up off a guy who's selling it locally here. But this is a, a seven-foot wide trailer. So the width, this seven feet wide here. The nice thing with this is it's seven feet tall as well. So this has seven-foot ceilings, and then it's 16 feet long. 16 feet is to the line right here so 17 feet we don't know sorry 16 16 feet long and then it's maybe got another foot in the v nose here and then it's got the drop down ramp so we're gonna we're gonna kind of build this into our motocross or our dirt bike trailer and we're gonna start by painting the walls these walls just look hideous so we're gonna white we're gonna paint the walls white we're gonna decide between a rubber coin flooring or a, an epoxy floor and then we're going to start getting some um, leds wired in here for lighting so that's kind of the project stay tuned to the channel for uh, some updates and progress as we kind of build this trailer out but uh, we've previously used we had an open trailer here this small little one we use for our dirt bikes we're going to get rid of that one just because it didn't really have enough room and you know, we have four bikes. We had to kind of squeeze two of the kids' bikes in the middle. So, anyways, this is our new project here. We're going to start working on it. All right, just continuing with the primering of the walls. I just got this side and this side here to do. This side is pretty much done. So we'll get that primed and then we'll get our main coat of paint on. All right, we got the walls all painted. It's almost uh, two and a half coats. We did like a we did like a primer coat. This is our color coat. This is a light gray color. I think it looks really good. Even though the walls aren't like perfectly smooth, it's kind of this OSB kind of rougher type wood. It still, I think it still looks pretty good. So next step is we're working on the floor. And on the floor, we're gonna do an epoxy floor coating. 
So we're gonna see how this works on wood. So first step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna remove these D-rings and then we're gonna sand the floor just to make sure, just to kind of scuff it up, you know, get any kind of high spots. There's some paint spills and things on the floor. We're gonna get those up with the sanding. And then we're gonna roll on the epoxy floor. We're gonna do the epoxy floor here on the floor and then we're gonna do it on the ramp. And then we'll see how it turns out. So we'll get started on sanding. All right, we're just using a 120 grit sandpaper and then just a palm sander and just hitting the floor, just getting all the rough spots up, making it so this uh, epoxy will really soak into the floor. Show me sand the floor. need a few there's a few spots in my garage right mainly through here and then where the cars park where my my clear top coat is coming up so i want to put this stuff down and on the on the on the trailer so it's kind of a multi-purpose for uh, two projects i'm using this so i'm going to roll this on as soon as the other uh, epoxy and the flakes get dried up I'll put this on top. That would really. All right, we're getting ready for epoxy. We got it all cleaned out. It's dried. We're using this rustoleum. I guess we gotta cut the corner, huh? After. Yeah. So you like mix the two parts in the bag, and then you cut a corner and you pour it out, and then we're just gonna roll and brush it on.
it dry, I had to shut the, the back uh, ramp door because it specifically says on the product page to not let it cure in sunlight. So that the ramp down causes the sun to get on it. So we're just going to let that dry up. But overall, it looked, uh, looks really good. I like the flakes because the flakes really hide the imperfections in the floor. Because the floor is not perfectly smooth or flat, you know, those, those flakes really hide that. I ended up with a little little extra. I could have gone a little thick. This is some of the, the first area I did in the front here, and I could have gone a little thicker here. Um, but, you know, you never know how much you're going to need or how much you have to ration it out to make sure you have enough. But luckily we had enough. The, the ramp door is going to look the best because it has the most product on it. Okay, it's been about five hours. It feels dry. It's dry to the touch. Let's see if you can see, you can still see kind of the uh, imperfections in the wood, but... Turned out really good. So the last step, we're just going to do the clear coat. It's basically, it's just a clear epoxy over top of this, and it says that it's going to give it some in increased durability. You know, it's going to protect the chips. It's going to protect the surface of it, especially with, you know, this is going to be used, you know, out in the out in the dirt when you're putting dirt bikes, ATVs in here. So I think that's going to be a good step for it. So, okay, we're ready for the final step here. We're just shaking up this bag, getting the uh, part A and part B mixed on the clear coat. And then we're just going to start laying down the clear coat along the edges. We're going to use a foam brush to get the corners and then roll the whole floor. coat down the clear epoxy down but I had to I had to get this tarp over kind of draped over the the top to keep this in the shade because it specifically says don't let it harden in direct sunlight so it's in the shade right now which is good so even after a couple hours it's still really tacky it went down pretty thick so see how long it takes to dry up it's hot it's a hot day it's 90 degrees and very low humidity so it should should dry quick so we'll check back in a few hours it's dry it's been about five six hours and uh, here in this uh, hot weather it's it's warm it's pretty the, the clear went on really thick now you can kind of tell that it's uh, yeah the clear went on really thick we had a lot we used we used a lot of it you can still see a little bit see these kind of like streaks here that's just from not the you know the the, the gray paint or the gray epoxy just didn't go down thick enough there. So there is that little, there are those little imperfections. But overall, it looks good. I mean, the, the clear is really thick on it. I think the clear is going to stand up pretty good to it. Uh, we didn't do the, it came with like an adhesive, like a, a sand that you put into the mix. I didn't know how, because you use those pack, those pouches and you mix those pouches up before you lay it down, I didn't know how to add that. So we didn't add any of that uh, non-slip stuff so we'll see how this is uh, it could be slick if it gets wet but thanks for watching the video be sure to hit that thumbs up subscribe to the channel uh, over the next couple weeks we're going to finish this out we're going to add some e-track some cabinet storage uh, really just kind of get this outfitted to uh, start using for our dirt biking adventures so stay tuned to the channel for more updates thanks